Okay, let's uh, continue here. First of all, let's make a new layer so we can start drawing. Come over to your layers palette. The bottom, there's this little uh, square with a corner folded on it. Let's create a new layer icon. Click on that. So we created a new layer called layer two. Get into the habit of labeling your layers. Um, even though this is a fairly simple project, you will have very complex projects. Uh, later in the semester we have many many layers and you, you have to keep track of what's going on so we're going to draw the what we're going to do is draw the body on this layer of the fish so call uh, this body and just hit return okay so it's labeled one other little item before we continue on in order to work on a layer remember it has to be unlocked for one thing the second thing is it has to be selected so if I select this layer this locked layer I cannot draw on the body layer. So make sure the correct, as you work through this exercise and in the future, make sure the correct layer is enabled. Okay, it'll be blued out. All right, so the strategy here is we're gonna draw an ellipse and adjust the ellipse to fit like the, the rough shape of this body. Come over to the left side of your workspace. Way down at the bottom are the colors, uh, the default if you hit this icon here, default fill and stroke, defaults to a white fill and a black stroke. And um, you can change the fill, swap the fill and stroke colors by hitting this curly arrow. But the main thing we want to do is be able to manipulate this so we can cancel either out the stroke or the fill. Uh, it sounds weird, but as you work with this, it makes sense. If I click on the stroke, it brings the stroke into the foreground. And I could hit this um, red slash here. So now that means it's a white fill and no stroke. Well, that's not what I want. Go back to the default, bring the white into the foreground, and hit the um, red slash. So this is what you should see. Make sure you see this. A black stroke, no fill. Come up the uh, toolbar. The easiest way to find it is to look for the big letter T. And two icons down is this square. If you hover over it, it'll say rectangle tool. Hit the drop down menu and choose the ellipse tool. Okay, we're choosing the ellipse tool. Now, finally, come over to your fish, and um, I'm gonna, there's fancy schmancy ways to do this so it fits better, but I'm gonna do it like the sloppy way, you know, considering that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna pretend I haven't worked with Illustrator that much. So I'm gonna go by his mouth, little uh, cursor is there, click, hold, and drag, and you start to see like what, you know, this ellipse is looking like. Um, bring it to, you know, about this part of the tail where that black stripe is and make it about that big. Okay, so now we got this ellipse and it's nowhere near where it's supposed to be. Come over to the left side on your toolbar, click the selection tool. So now we got the black arrow selection tool. Click, hold, and drag and just rough in with the black arrow, like get the, you want the, um, I got the, you know, I, I'm at the top and the bottom of the fish here, and I got basically the right length. I don't want to, I'm going to add a tail later so I can bring this in a little bit. Whoops, I messed up. Okay. All right, so um, that was using the black arrow, the black selection tool. Now, what I want to do is adjust this path, you know, so it has this nice sweeping curve here, and then fix this so it fills this, and we got to figure out what to do with the mouth, which is what we'll do. So we got to look at, we got to see the handles, and we're going to use the anchor point tool. Come over to the left side, choose the direct selection tool with the white arrow. Let's choose this top anchor point. So now this is an anchor. It's selected because it's filled up and we got a handle and a handle. Now what? Um, 
the you can use this to edit the uh, curve and like in, in fact we this is actually working out so let me do this so let me grab the I didn't think it was going to work this this well so let me with a white selection tool let me grab this left word handle at the top here click hold and just pull it down so it, it gets kind of sort of to where we want it see how it's like following this nice curve here with the white arrow selected grab this handle and just pull it straight down it's okay for what we're going to do it's okay if this this curve goes inside the fish so that looks pretty good actually I, I didn't I honestly didn't think it was going to work out that nice um, okay so now what uh, this uh, how the heck are we going to bring this curve down uh, let's let's go to the and if you lose the selection you can always just click on it again so like sometimes these handles will just appear so um, let's grab this handle at the the nose he doesn't have a nose but and let's pull this down a little bit let's see what happens here and let's pull this guy in this is working out much much better than I thought I was I, in the uh, when I was practicing with this I was using the anchor point tool but I'm finding that the selection tool is working okay so if you had trouble mimicking that curve uh, just rewatch the video I, I only used this white direct select tool and I just adjusted see the two handles here one handle here and one handle here and I got that pretty decent curve there okay let's with the white arrow let's select this very bottom anchor point and if there is a just universe I should be able to pull this inward just like that that's looking pretty good um, this is not wonderful so let me grab this handle and pull it up this way and I think uh, this this we might have to use the anchor point tool for this one okay so um, alright so with this anchor point selected so you can see these two handles come over to the left to your toolbar under the pen tool hit the drop down menu and choose the anchor point tool there's my cat in the background giving his two cents and grab this handle so you get this little bird beak let me show the the cursor this is the anchor point tool grab this handle click and hold and drag and pull that up a little bit I think it's gonna work better so yeah because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another shape on top of this um, go back to direct uh, and select the direct selection tool okay so what the heck are we gonna do about this mouth um, we're gonna simplify this and what we'll do is we'll put an, another point in there uh, let me see how I want to do this we can here's what we're gonna do come over to the left side hit the drop down menu and choose add anchor point tool and stick with me my cat is confused as you are right now uh, okay so click what we're gonna do is add two points um, add a point here's like what I'm calling his nose at a point where like we're gonna put like the dent indentation of his mouth is right here and then we're gonna add a point where we're gonna put his little chin alright so so we got three new anchor points grab the white selection tool I'm gonna grab the the anchor point that we made last and I'm gonna pull it up here to where his little chin is I'm gonna grab the middle anchor point and pull it in a little bit and there I get that shape okay was that confusing and weird maybe it was um, just with the magic of uh, digital media just rewind the video so what I did was I added to um, added two points 
and I just pulled in the middle point to make this little mouth shape, okay? So let me, um, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna click off the reference photo. So go back to the beginning of the video. If you missed anything, what you want is this shape. Okay, and that's the body. And after you've got that drawn correctly, remember you can always Command Z or Control Z to, to back up, or select it all, delete it, and keep and draw it again until you get this shape. Okay, and I'll turn this back on, and I'll see you in the next video.